The Richard Heddle loom is threaded for double weave. I'm getting ready to weave some tabby before we get started, but I wanted you to see a side view. So we're gonna kind of go down a little bit here. Sorry about the shaking. And I'd like you to be able to see what's going on here with the shed. You can see where the shuttle is. It's ready to be taken through. And then as we look here, right now, the both of the rigid heddles are in the down position. If you want to check for your threading, make sure everything's okay. This is a good angle to do that at and kind of take a look at it and maybe a little bit, maybe slide it over here a little bit more. And you can kind of see what's going on. I do have a pickup stick placed in the back. We're going to be using that once we get started with weaving. I just wanted to separate some of the threads. So I wanted you to just kind of see what happens, what it looks like, and making sure you have a clean shed. And at the moment, like I said, all the um, both of the rigid heddles are in the down position, which means all of the threads in the slots are up and all of the threads that are in the holes are down. Now I have both of the rigid heddles are in the up position and all of the yarn, all of the yarn is going through slots. What I discovered is if I put a pickup stick in here, it helps. And then if I turn it on its side, it even helps more with getting the shed you need to insert your shuttle going the other direction. So I already have all of those up. I'm going to take this through and actually use the edge of this shuttle to press that down. Bring it through. And like I said, we're working on just doing the tabby at the moment. I can lay that flat and then take the beater what I find though is probably the best thing is to put all of this in what I call in the rest position seems to work a little bit better to even move the beater back in the rest position and then the next process will be to place all of both of the rigid heddles in the down position. And again, it's easier to put them in the rest position before we take them all the way down to the slot position. It's just less, uh, it's less stress on the yarn that way. Okay. And now you can see there's a nice shed there. I'm coming over to that area here. We're ready to go back the other direction. And what I find, found is once you're getting started with it, it makes it a little bit easier. The first couple are a little bit harder. And again, this is just to get things started. I'm going to use this shuttle that has a beveled edge to go across and getting it started. So we brought that one back. And then I'm going to again come back up again. And again, in this case, I'm going, I'm using the shuttle as my beater. Now I'm going to take both of them into the top position. And again, we see, you can see the shed a little bit better. I'm going to again use the shuttle, the edge to press it back and bring it through. This is just to get things started. And then what we'll do is then start the double weave shortly. And right now in the background, we have a little doggy who's not very happy because she can't find her ball. Okay, we're getting ready to insert, or I've already inserted some of the pickup sticks. What I did first was both of the heddles, Richard heddles, are in the down position. And I inserted one pickup stick into where the sets are. There would be the, the tabby weave I was doing. So I have it right in there. Then 
The next thing I did was I literally picked up all the top ones. In this case, these are my rose colored. I picked them all up with this pickup stick and they're all there. Now I'm going to take out the first pickup stick and I'm going to turn this one on its side because what it's going to be doing is giving me a bigger shed in the back. Hope the pickup stick stays where I want it to stay. Got a little bit of a tension going on here, a little bit of a tilt. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to the back and my goal is to pick up or make sure I have this pickup stick under all of the threads that are in the slots. It's the top layer, my top layer. And I have all of those in there. So this pickup stick is now in the back, exactly where it needs to be. So I can take this one out and I have all of those picked up for the next set. I'm going to show you a different angle, so hopefully you can see what's going on. I'm going to pick up the camera and move it over so you can maybe see what happened here. So what's going on? I think it's very helpful to kind of get a side view. And there we go. You can see that I've all the top row picked up and they were all the ones that are in the slot. And that's kind of what the side looks like. Very helpful if you do have a mirror or if you have a way of seeing what's going on. Okay, we put both of the rigid heddles in the top position now, slid the pickup stick in the back, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on its side because what I want to do is insert it to make sure all of the threads that are in the slots of the lighter color or my first color are on the bottom. So there and there, I can close that, bring these back and and turn this to the side just a little bit so maybe we can see it better. So what's happening over here is that, I can show it a little better here. Right now, I'll put this in a neutral position. So what's happening is that these are in the slot, in the top pickup stick. The ones on the bottom are also in the slot. And then what I have is the sandwich in between of the ones that are in the holes of both heddles.